Hello Grade 11s. Today we are going to have a look at solving quadratic equations through the use of the quadratic formula. When an expression cannot be factorized, we are able to use the quadratic formula to help us solve the equation. The quadratic formula is x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4a c all over 2a. The values of the a, b, and c come from the quadratic equation y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. The value of a is the coefficient of the x squared, the b is the coefficient of the x, and the c is the constant term. We use the quadratic formula when we cannot factorize a quadratic equation and need to solve for a variable. We are going to go to Debuha as his teacher explains the method we use to solve a quadratic equation when the expression cannot be factorized. There's a formula you can use to solve a quadratic equation which you might find quicker and easier to use. We usually only use this method when we can't find the factors of a quadratic equation. But there's no reason why you can't use it at any other time. Do you want to try it? Well, I'm always willing to try out something quicker and easier. We call this formula the quadratic formula. All we need to do in order to solve for x is write the equation in its simplest standard form. Identify a, b, and c in the equation, substitute into the formula, and solve for x. The positive and negative signs give us the two solutions or roots of the quadratic equation. One when using a plus sign and one when using a minus sign. That sounds easy enough. Let me give it a try. Okay, you can try it with this equation on your worksheet. Okay, here goes. The equation is already in simplest standard form, which means that a equals 2, b equals 3, and c equals negative 7. Now I substitute that into the formula, minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a, which gives me... minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 65 all divided by 4. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. You could leave your answer in third form like this or you could use your calculator to find the answer as a decimal. What you do here will depend on what form you were asked to give the answer in the original question. For this example, I'd like you to find the value of x to two decimal places. So if I put that into my calculator, I get that x equals 1.27 or x equals negative 2.77. Just one thing to take note of is when what goes inside the third or square root sign is negative. This means that you won't be able to find an answer to the question and therefore there will be no solution. When you try and put this into the calculator, your calculator will give you an error, so don't be surprised. Let me show you what I mean with this example. First we need to write this in simplest third form. Then I identify A, B and C in the equation. Then substitute the values into the formula. Negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all divided by 2a. That gives me negative 3 
plus or minus the square root of negative 51 all divided by 10. We cannot take the square root of a negative number, so we say that the value of x is undefined. Thank you, Deboho. Your questions have helped make the quadratic formula seem much easier to understand. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Equations and Inequalities task video. You'll also be able to learn more about equations and inequalities on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.